Ange Postacoglu will win silverware at Spurs. He won't win silverware. <laughs> far no, better managers, far better managers than Ange Postacoglu have not won silverware at Tottenham. Far better teams than this Tottenham team have not won silverware at Tottenham. Like this 2008 thing is going to remain. And also, it's not only the 2008. You know, they won the League Cup in 2008. But it's bigger than that. You know, it's two League Cups since 1991 for Tottenham. Two League Cups. They're a team that will tell you that they're a great cup team. Their, their fans will genuinely tell you that they're a great cup team when the year ends in one and all that nonsense. Two League Cups since 1991. Based on, yeah, but based on the manager, though, who has been able to win silverware. I mean, Brendan Rodgers came from Celtic and he's won a, he's won a trophy with Leicester. Yeah, I, I mean, think Ange Postecoglou could win a league cup. Possibly. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why we would say that he could. I don't think. I don't think that he will win any silverware there. No, I think that if you look at the teams that have won silverware since Tottenham last managed it, you know, Birmingham City have won silverware since then. Mm. So, so no, I don't think Ange Postecoglou will do that. I think he's going to have his work cut out. I actually think that what will be seen as success for Tottenham, what he will be trying to achieve, not necessarily because the fans want this, but I think the board will want it, will be Champions League football. Yep. And although that has now gone to the fifth space, so five teams will qualify, a quarter of the league effectively will qualify for the Champions League. I don't think Tottenham get anywhere near it. I'm so I'd say curious more to likely to get sacked than win a trophy. <laughs> by, by, by far, in fact. Far more likely to lose his job by Christmas than he is to win a trophy. That is so negative. Accurate. Uh, okay, Declan Rice should sign for Bayern Munich over Arsenal. I don't think so. I don't think he should go to Bayern Munich. I think you could you could debate whether Arsenal is the right move for him. I would say that it probably is. I think if you look at the growth of a lot of young English players, or just young players, at Arsenal, Mikel Arteta is doing something quite quite incredible there and linking up with Bukayo Saka and you know, linking up with Martin Odegaard is going to do him the world of good and he will elevate that Arsenal midfield hugely. I think Bayern Munich, though, I don't I don't think he should go there. When you think about the clubs that he could go to, Declan Rice will have his pick of teams. I understand the allure of Arsenal. Um, and if I were him, I think Arsenal is a more exciting project than going to play in the Bundesliga. Uh, OK, yeah, that's fair. OK, Gundogan is a top 10 Premier League midfielder of all time. The easiest thing to do here is say yes because of the hype around him and the way that he's playing at the moment and being referred to as... You know, being compared to Zinedine Zidane by Jack Grealish is obviously, you know, incredible, incredibly complimentary. The the problem with this game is when you say top ten, you can say it flippantly. Mm. I did it recently about Jamie Vardy. Actually, I saw, you know, I rate Vardy so highly. I said that, that he is one of the best Premier League players. But then when you actually on the show that I was on, we actually went through it. We started naming other Premier League strikers, and actually Vardy does very well to get in the top twenty. And I think it's a similar it's a similar case for Gundogan. It's easy now for me to flippantly go top ten, brilliant, you know, unplayable at times, and has secured so many uh, so many decisive moments for Manchester City in their greatest ever era. But when you start naming them, he probably doesn't get in. You know, he might he might not even get into a Manchester City all time all time. Well, I mean, you you could immediately go Kevin De Bruyne, Yaya Toure, couldn't you? You go Fernandinho. It, it's it's it does become very difficult. So. I'm going to say no and not overreact. I'm going to be quite calm, which is only because of my experience. I, I lauded Jamie Vardy so highly, and then when I actually spoke it through, I was proved incorrect by my own by my own logic. So I'm not going to do that again. How old is going to go on? Thirty-ish. Thirty-ish. Yeah. Really. I wonder what's ahead of him then. If they'll agree to keep him or renew the contract. I, or... I think they'd be mad to let him leave. I really do. But you know, these links with Kovacic are intensifying and if they if they have the opportunity to sign Kovacic, somebody's going to leave. You know, they're on about Bernardo Silva leaving as well. Guardiola often lets players leave. You know, I remember when they let Sane leave. I thought that was wild, but proved to be correct. Mm. 